So today, I think uh, if Trump has, hasn't tweeted it already, uh, what are you advocating here for or against here outside of the Supreme Court? Well, um, he's just announced that he's going to nominate uh, Brett Kavanaugh from the D.C. Circuit Court. And um, he, his past decisions on church-state separation have been um, incredibly troubling. He would limit the ability of taxpayers to challenge money going to religious organizations and religious events. Um, <clears throat> he feels that, uh, you know, corporation, that, that filling out, you know, a five-line form to get your uh, employees health care is too much of a burden on uh, free exercise of religion, which is absurd. Um, the, the nominee just, the, this, <clears throat> this nomination just does not bode well for the separation of religion and government in this country. Well, that, that's an interesting take from among these that you have here. So you have your atheist, that's pretty cool, the Adam symbol, yeah. right? Uh, and you have here, this is not a church. Yeah. I very much agree. A lot of people treat the government like a church, they right? They do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in more ways than one. In more ways than one. Yeah. They're actually like the social contract for them would be uh, like uh, their Bible in a way. Like uh, the Constitution would be their Bible, for example, right? Like, sure. Right. We could say like uh, in terms of, like these things uh, don't exist factually, right? When uh, the atheist view, uh, there's no such thing as a social contract either, right? Well, not a physical thing. Right. Yeah. You never signed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, show me my signature on this social contract, right? I mean, sure. Right. Um, so I like the. Uh, Interesting take you have this on this on the on the government. A, a second one too. Keep your theocracy off my democracy. democracy. Yeah. What do you think though? Um, as some atheists have uh, turned away from God and I would do, say all atheists. All the atheists, right, right, right and, and their judgment of it. But I say it in a way that they've moved their God towards government though, and government has become their God and their advocation for it, and feeling like they could do no wrong, like it's this angel that can solve any problems as long as you evoke the word government. No, I think that, um, I mean, the fact that I'm here protesting what the government is doing would seem to be evidence against that. I mean, government um, is made up of human beings who are, in our country, largely elected by human beings or appointed by human beings. And, you know, um, we make mistakes. Uh, so government makes mistakes. It's just how it goes. Um, I don't know that anyone, I mean, applying the the... The label of God to government, um, I, I think it's. Um, I, I think in a way it trivializes what people think of, what religious people think of when they think of the word God. And I mean, we could all say God is love or God is the universe, but it's ultimately kind of meaningless to to redefine the things that way. Well, you have like your Ten Commandments, I'm sure. Sure, right? You have your Ten Bill of Rights, right? Uh, sure. You, know, you know, have these kind of. People look, you have your people in robes who divine this leaving, breathing document known as a constitution. Well, they're not supposed to divine it. That's, that's kind of part of the problem. Right, that's prob right exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but they dress up as they would mages, as they would as a religious symbol in robes and gone as if they're a part of the priesthood. Right? Uh, plenty of people wore robes. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. That but for them, it's uh, in the same way as you do as a religious service. Uh, in a way, I mean, yeah. right now, uh, and well, for all of our history, Supreme Court sessions have opened with, you know, God save the United States and this honorable court, which right. is in and of itself a bit of a, you know, uh, a violation of the Establishment Clause right there, but oh well. It's uh, it's ceremony. It's uh, the robes and, God, I'm glad we don't do the wigs like the British used to do. Um, I don't think that that's a religious thing. I don't know where the British wigs came from. Yeah. Anyway. Um, what do you I think about me. the uh, separation, not just church and state, but how about the separation of state from all our lives altogether? Well, then what would be the point of state? There wouldn't be. We wouldn't need a state. Well, how then how do we govern our interactions? How do we, you know... It's kind of in the same way... If I have, if I, like, want to grab a taxi, I, you know, I'm creating a contract there. Who's going to enforce it? Yeah, that's a good question. So kind of like in the same way, like, people say, like, you can't have morality without God, right? People say like we can't have rules without People, say that, People sure. say that, yeah, yeah. But atheists say like it could be ethical. Morality doesn't come. Sure. You have natural uh, exactly. state of orders, right? Yeah. Uh, 
law, order, security are not things that were like divine from government or granted from government, right? Businesses right. in Virginia build the roads. Uh, it's not government that builds the roads, right? Well, the govern government organizes they the businesses right. together. Right. Yeah, it's like it's like the church organizes and takes tithings from people to say, you know, you'll go to heaven. Government takes the taxes to say, yeah, this is goes towards the roads. Well, the taxes actually go toward building something literally concrete yeah 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 something so, easy it's not a technical marvel something easy that businesses already do today i mean i my friends work in the road making business so okay. like, yeah, yeah very easy it's not uh that difficult government has monopolized the, being the middle man so you yourself as this consumer can't get in the business but at the or, same time i mean any if the first thing that would happen if you got rid of government is groups of people would get together and create a new government that's just we're so humans you think people might we're back social together. animals that's okay. what we do uh, yeah, th things kind of repeat, right? Like uh, it took a long time for like the argument of the moral argument to end slavery to take uh, a good strong footing, right? That started in England and then it spread throughout the, the rest of the world, Western civilization. They still have it in Libya, right? But uh, but that kind of argument, like you really need this kind of violent organization in our lives, right? That, that kind of moral argument, I think is something that we should be discussed, especially among atheists. Certainly, uh, violence, violence by the government is absolutely a problem. Right. Um, but government as an abstract concept does not require violence um, to the extent that violence creeps in that's a problem um, you know whether it's police violence or you know the uh, the uh, I'm blanking on yeah, the, yeah. on the term right now the the um, Eisenhower's quote about uh, it's way too late in my right, day. But they always <laughs> say that they do require violence, only in that How so? before government can make the claim that we're here to do good, they must first do bad and threatening to take your property through taxation, right? You have no consent to that. They must first give, get your property through theft before they can spend it to say we're doing this for good, right? But how is A, I would argue, um, how is theft violence? I think right. that's doing some damage to the term violence. Okay, okay, violence would be... Um, uh, but also... The, I mean, I'm not sure what the situation in which the government is stealing your property, if it's an eminent domain kind Taxation. of thing. No, even eminent domain is a product of uh, government, stealing your land, right? So but it's better not, used for a corporation. Instead but of it's not own. theft. We, ha we have agreed that, um, you know, that the, uh, as a society, when we need property to serve some sort of broad societal end, that, you know, we'll give you fair market value for it, but we're going to take possession of your property. Okay. And the very fact that you get fair market value for it is, well, you know, it, undermines the idea that it's theft. Right, some uh, sentimental purposes might be worth more than that, right? Sure. Um, now, when you say we, though, uh, you, you make it say as if like we have a sort of contract with government, and that is the relationship we have with government. It's a contract between all of us to be civil and follow certain rules. Right. But I would say then, if you have such we as a contract, like we give consent to that, I will ask you for your such contract with your explicit consent and signature to these rules and relationship you have with government, and that's the way things are. But it's not a physical no, contract. It's not. It doesn't exist. Yeah. But there are plenty of contracts that don't exist. When I hail a cab, I'm not signing anything. Well, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's it's uh, when you go there, you go on your phone, you agree to the services like with uh, Uber or Lyft. No, that, if I just hail a cab. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You know, well, the, the wave a guy down. The conventions money, of getting a it. cab is I'll give you a lift on the condition you give me the title ship ownership of your money at the end right. of this ride, right? Same thing when you go to a bar, right? Um, but those are services that are voluntary. With government, though, they're not voluntary because at no point can you say no. Sure they are. You can leave. Well, why should I leave? Because the rest of us have come up with this system. And why should you dictate to the rest of us how we're to live our lives? So you say you give consent to yeah. taxation. But how, now the thing is, because the way you can define how do you have something's consensual is you have the power to say no, and nothing of bad will ever happen to you, right? Hey, if I say, hey, I mean, I don't know about nothing, but like that's very broad. Well, like if you I have to incur the expense if I say, of moving. Can I borrow moving. your shirt? And you say no, right? Or if I am borrowing your shirt, say I want that back, I give it back, right? Uh -huh, right. Sure. So there's there's consent. If there's a sexual entanglement, I say no, everything stops, right? Uh, so the consent is the freedom to give and withdraw that permission anytime. Anything that violates that consent, well, I would define as violence. In a contract, you don't necessarily have the ability to withdraw your consent at any time. Well, contract stipulates what happens if you want to break the contract. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the thing is, so our relationship with government, you have no freedom to say no to taxes. Sure you do. No. You vote in people who will change the laws. Oh, so, so voting in or people. Or vote in people who will nominate the Supreme Court justice who will say that 
employment taxes are against the law. If the majority of people don't vote, then then the majority doesn't want government any of this stuff, then because majority of people don't vote. Or they're just too busy. Well, I mean that's that's their voices, not uh, entanglement in the political system, right? Yeah, but plenty of people are apathetic. That doesn't mean they dislike government or they don't like the policies. They just are too busy, don't have the you know money to take a day off, um, or just have other priorities. Now, do you think you have? The right or the people, do you have the right to vote away my freedoms just because you outnumber me with your friends and the voting election process? No, not at all. That's why we have the Constitution. That's what happens, right? When you vote, right, the majority wins, and now they can instill. But the rules within and the wins. bounds of the Constitution. And if you want to change the Constitution, then what is it, three quarters of the states have to. Uh, have to vote to agree to change the Constitution. But nobody gave consent, explicit consent to the Constitution. There's no factual evidence to say that there was sure consent by the government. There Plenty is. of people agreed to it Agreeing 240 not a contract. years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's a relationship, as a contract. They signed it in witness for of as a notary. Yeah, this is a document. They never signed that this is a contract that we're beholding to this contract. But at the same right. time, if I got with my friends and wrote a contract, that would not afflict you, right? We can't say, well, we wrote our rules and a contract to ourselves. Now you're forced to abide by that. And you'll, you'll laugh at that, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, because yeah. you don't have any power over me. Why well, so do these old people that you've never met over 200 years ago have any sway or power over you? you because never... that's how we all agreed to... I, fun I, I mean, never agreed. That's the best system we've come up with so far for governing human interactions. Yeah, but they agreed among themselves. That's what I'm saying, as a contract. They're yeah, agreeing it's among, a social yeah, yeah. contract. That's the idea of a social contract. Yeah, but a contract... Because we all live here, we all agree to be bound by these rules, and if you don't like being bound by the rules, you can go. But as we said, consent means the freedom to withdraw or give permission any time, right? Over your body or your property. Yeah, right? and you can Maybe. withdraw your consent and move to Ethiopia or something. Ethiopia. I don't know. Okay. Just I mean, I could say inverse. If you love government and controlling your life, move to uh, North Korea, right? True. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would say, though, because you have no freedom to say no to taxes, and they do send men with guns to send to, to arrest you, and you try to escape, you'd be murdered. Right? That's just how it works. I mean, if if they murdered you, that would be a corruption of the yeah, government. If, if you try to escape from being kidnapped by the cops for a victimless crime of not giving government your money. No, but you use the services. The government spends, spends tax money to build the road. You've used the road. You've given, essentially, your consent by living in human human society. And if you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. If I'm, and if how, if I'm you seem, you seem so bound up in the idea of contract, and there is no contract without the state to enforce the contract. It's paradoxical and a circular argument. You mean enforcing like arbitration, right? No, I mean the ability to enforce a contract requires the government. That's not historically true. I mean, even no, today, because yeah. if it's not government, yeah. then it's just whichever of us is stronger gets to enforce the contract. You don't and that's not a contract because then you don't have a bargain. You just have whoever's stronger wins, you have, which uh, is why this argument is circular and illogical. And that's also why I'm done because okay. I actually am going to distribute my signs. <laughs> All right, have a good day.